This year was the third quarter, where, third quarter where it got away from you. You know, what do you see is the issue there? Well, we came out flat, I thought, to start the third. Um, gave up a 10-4 like a, a run really quickly. Uh, gave up 30. I think we gave up 31 points in the first kind of seven minutes of the half, which is too much, obviously. And, uh, and just weren't tight enough defensively. And then, you know, I think a big factor also, our guys just looked tired, you know, couldn't make shots, open looks, and they fought, they battled, they tried, but just didn't have that sharpness. Um, and uh, you could see it just wasn't as, uh, you know, as fluid and, and uh, as accurate as we normally are. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Steve, kind of going off that, I mean, we've talked a lot about starts. You guys came out of the gate really hot, and that's obviously been an issue before. What did you like about the way you guys started the game? Yeah, I thought the start was great. I mean, obviously, I thought we started sharp. We came out, you know, with purpose and intent. Um, but part of that is also we made shots, they missed shots. You know, then uh, the tables turned a little bit, and then I thought we fatigued as the game went on. But I was proud of them. They came out locked in, engaged you know, with the right intentions and, uh, and played well to start the game. And then just to follow up, I mean, Joe had that hot first quarter and then didn't really score much after that. Do you attribute that more to what maybe Toronto did to him defensively after that or just going away from him or, or, or something else? Yeah, they, they they locked in, you know, to Joe. They, they got into him. They were switching a lot of action. Um, you know, made it difficult to get him open looks. He's going to get open looks out of the flow of the game more so in that scenario. And there wasn't to be tonight. I think they recognized right away that like he's having a hot night and try to take him out. And so we didn't get enough looks for him, but uh, that's going to happen sometimes. But he creates space for other people as well. And so we just weren't able to make shots elsewhere. Um, but he got us off to a great start and I think also caused openings for other players. Go to Brian Lewis with the New York Post. The way uh, Landry had come in, I mean, he had been obviously white hot coming in. Did you attribute his shooting to legs or was that something else? Yeah, I, I thought he looked, you know, like, I don't want to say look tired because he still played his butt off and um, played well and then the shooting, you know, it's just, uh, it's a lot, you know, as a guy that hasn't been playing uh, this many minutes now consecutively playing a lot of minutes, it, it takes its toll. And there's going to be a, you know, a bump in the road at some point tonight. I, it, you know, it just looked like he couldn't quite get the ball in the basket, but played his butt off, played hard. He's been great for us. All his looks we, we love and want him to take. And, you know, he'll bounce back from that for sure. He's playing a ex excellent basketball for us. Got Alex Fleming with the Florida Sun. All right, we'll go back to Tom Dowd. Uh, hey, Steve, uh, Bruce Brown, uh, second consecutive double-double. You know, what was his uh, impact in, in keeping the game close tonight? I mean, he's just such a competitor. Um, you know, he's, he plays so much bigger than his size, defends multiple positions, great rebounder, uh, and finds the holes on offense. So, you know, we, we, love, we love Bruce. We love his fight and his competitiveness, and uh, he definitely plays a big role for us.